Hello and welcome. This guide will show you how to fix world and conflict to be able to run in Windows 10. The game by default only recognizes four cores as this game was released around 2007. There are multiple fixes we need to apply. First, download the files provided in the description and then drag and drop this to the world and conflict folder. These .dll files will enable us to run world and conflict in modern systems where we usually now have more than four cores. Then, we need to go to MS Config, Boot Tab, Advanced Options and set the number of cores to 4. You then need to restart the computer to apply this change. This must be done alongside the first step. I know it is counterintuitive, but it is the only way to get past the cutscene crash at the second mission. After that, I just left this setting as it is until I am finished with the game. You can however, try to revert this back by unticking the box and see if it will still run the game. I am not sure though if it will work, no guarantees. When you are done playing the game, be sure to revert this option back to its default, otherwise you will be running your entire system with 4 cores only. Lastly, apply this fix so you don't crash at one of the final mission's cutscenes. This fix is for the last mission of the game, you can apply it now or later. Go to your documents folder, probably titled, My Documents. Open the, World in Conflict, folder. Use Notepad to open the text file called, Game Options. Look for the line My DX10 Flag 1. Towards the bottom of the document and change it to, My DX10 Flag 0. Save the file and exit. Run the game again and you should get past the cutscene crash. This concludes the video. If this has helped you, please consider liking and subscribing. Happy Gaming!